Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got some bagging to do today and this one is from the great people at diamondartgift.com. Uh, yeah, they've sent me some more products to review on my channel. So yeah, thank you very much diamondartgift.com. And um, they have got a lot of special offers on at the moment. If you buy four products, you will get one free and there is 70% off shipping so I'll put a screenshot in of the special offers so it's always worth going and checking those out because you might be able to get some money off if you wanted to get these things Woo! <laughs> I'm really excited about this because there's a, a product that I've been uh, there's a product that I saw on the website and I thought oh that looks different so we'll have a look so the first item is oh look a little bit of a diamond paint in there and then we have a packet okay a bag in a bag in a bag in a bag <laughs> and it is in a bag but look at all these bits and pieces so i've got a new build product and um, i'll put a picture on the screen of what they should look like uh, and i say should because hopefully i'll be able to build it the same <laughs> no i'm only kidding uh, so far everything that i've had that you build yourself has been pretty straightforward so let's have a look and see what's in this packet there is a lot of bits Ooh, this looks good okay oh look at all these bits okay so let's have a look so we have Oops, one, two, the little stands, three, four little stands. It's all crystal gems look. Ooh, very, very nice. And I, yeah, I did get a Christmassy one. <laughs> uh, it's, you've got your standard pen, butt, and wax to do your project, but. Uh, yeah and then we've got quite a nice length of red string oh it looks like we've got two lengths of red string so yeah that's good okay so we'll just pop that one on one side and then we have all these bits and pieces so we have lots of little gingerbread men look at all these and they've all got slightly different designs and different faces and then we've got a stocking and a christmas tree and a little christmas house and that's a huge present can i have that present for christmas please because that one's as big as the house yay <laughs> And then we've got baking Christmas memories on a little plaque look with all the little gingerbread men on. So that's quite nice. This is actually be quite nice for my daughter because they're a family of four. Um, and I know uh, my daughter does like doing baking with the granddaughters. So that would be quite sweet for them. <gasps> and look, we've got a gonk and he's got a big present and he's got a gnome as well. Sorry, he's got a gingerbread man as well. Oh, goodness. Did I say gnomes before or did I say gingerbread men? Can't remember. Anyway, so we have a gnome. Come on, shift along, chaps, because we want uh, the gnome gonk um, to go there. And then we have another little house. And we have magical cookie test sorry official cookie tester why i thought that said magical i don't know but it is official cookie tester uh. looking at the pictures and yeah this is all you do get in your kit it looks as though they've it's not a cake stand that you actually get it is just these what have we got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine eleven twelve thirteen diamond painting projects your drills and then your four little stands so that's what you get in your kit and the pictures that they're showing you on the website are actually a cake stand that they've already got or a little round stand that they've got that they've then just decorated with these these little um stands are for the baking christmas memories little stand you've got one for your little gonk gnome so he will stand there and it's for you to make your own display oh it doesn't stand very well in there um oh okay 
taking them um, I have to put them slightly sideways and then one for the little house yeah when you look closely at the photographs this is actually what it's showing you so you've got your four little well slightly bigger projects to go on your little stands and then your little gingerbread men get threaded through with one of the strings because they've got if you can see they've got little holes in their arms so that will thread through on all of them to make them a string and they've sort of like made a decoration around the top of the stand with the string um, and then the little like stocking and the tree they've got holes there and there and there and there and there. so they're like halfway through so rather than being through the hands because these actually these will look quite cute because they'll all look as though they're holding hands won't they but you could always use them um singly you could put them uh, singly you don't have to use them um all on one project um and again these you could put them singly or you can string them together just thinking actually these would possibly be quite nice um as I say, we do hang our Christmas cards on string. So I'm just wondering if these will hang from the string that I put the cards on because we don't get that many Christmas cards anymore. So I do tend to puff it out a bit, as it were, um, with other things. So they would probably look quite nice on there. Or I may see if I can find a little two-tiered stand. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Uh, and uh, decorate that up similar to how they've done it on the website. There is lots of different ones available in this as well. There's some really cute designs. Um, there's a little gonk who's all in uh, red tartan, so that one's quite cute. Uh, but as I say, this is the Christmas cookies one. So, yeah, um, it was $9.99, uh, so a little bit higher price point. But then I suppose if you think how many things you're actually getting and your little stands, it's not a bad price um, for all that you're getting and it does make it a bit more versatile slightly disappointed that you're not getting the stand my fault entirely for not reading the thing properly as you know i just tend to see things and i think oh i like that and i get them and then i realize that i should have read the description first <laughs> but i do like all the little things and i love how it all ties together so maybe if you've not got a huge space for christmas decorating and you just want to do a little bit of a, a little display or something then this would just a one contained little display that all links together because you've got your official cookie tester there you've got your baking christmas memories so that's all you're baking your gingerbread men and these are like cookies aren't they as well and um, they're all you're cooking you've got your gingerbread house which is traditional christmas and then you've got your little gonk with his little gingerbread man as well so it does all tie in really really nice i do like the theme uh, but yeah, I'm going to have to look for maybe a little stand or something. I'll see what I can do with these. Actually, they would probably be quite nice because we have got um, sort of an antique sideboard that's hubbies that's been handed down the family. Um, and I suppose I could maybe do something around there because it has like a shelf uh, on it as well. It's got a mirror with a shelf on it. Um, yeah, I can remind you, I've got to be so careful. Oops, that's things just falling over on my desk now. Because uh, it gets really protective over the sideboard. So I've got to be really, really careful. Uh, so, yeah. Right, okay. Let's have a look and see what colours we've got in these. I do like the little gingerbread man. I like that. I think that's really, really cute. Um, I mean, you could even hang these, to be honest. If you've got, say, a crocodile, that will go through these wooden pieces um or even just stick a peg or just sell a tape some string onto the back of them for the christmas period it probably would stay up uh, long enough you know and then you can always use it for something else next year uh, again would suggest sealing them just so that they stay uh, in one piece if you are keeping them for next year as well but very nice i mean if you've got a little christmas stall these would be quite nice as decorations around a stall if you're selling bits and pieces Oh, let's have a look at our crystals. Looks like we're all just standard sizes. No special shapes or anything, but that's fine. Oh, look how shiny and clear those crystals are. That's gorgeous. And then a nice Christmassy red. Oh, two lots of Christmassy red. Yep, they're both the same colour. 
and a green and a very deep red and a honey gold and a little bit of standard black and that's like a tanny sort of colour, browny chestnutty colour. Oh, and that's more of an orangey brown colour and then a very orange colour and a pale gold and oh, ice blue, very nice and a pale pink and another little bit of gold so we are doing okay on those very nice right i'll get these put away and we'll have a look at the next item i'm just going to put these little bits of string in a grip seal bag because i don't want them to get knotted up or get lost because they are very nice bits of string just give them a little bit of a wind round and just pop them in there okay and then they're not going to get lost and i'm going to put those in with the gems okay so yeah on the whole um i do like this i'm liking it better now i've got over the fact that it's not quite what i was expecting but as i say part of that is my fault for not reading it properly <laughs> But again, I do these unboxings and show you and uh, show you the things so that you'll know what you're getting. Sorry, crinkling bags. I'll just pop those over there for now. Just all go over there, chaps. And we will have a look at the next one. And I'm sorry, we are still on Christmas. It's bizarre talking about cold weather and Christmas at the moment because we are having unusual hot weather now in the UK. Yesterday was 24 degrees, which is unheard of in October. Um, well, it's not the norm anyway. I mean, I, we've had snow in October, so why we've got this exceptionally warm weather, I don't know. And why I'm having to have a fan on in October while I do my filming, I don't know. Right, so this is a beautiful little canvas and it is $4.99 and the end on this one is hidden as well there it is oh you've just had a sneak peek of a very bonny happy little face there okay oh, let's just pull this one out and have a look oh look at that she's pretty so there's a whole set of these again um do want to go on the website and have a look and don't forget if you uh, did want to have a look at the set if you bought a set of four of them one of them would be free so that's pretty good so instead of paying uh, twenty dollars well just under twenty dollars for four you'd only be paying well just under fifteen dollars for four so that's pretty good particularly if you're wanting to do a split display display <laughs> Oh dear, what is happening to my words today? Right, so let's just give it a bit of a flatten. Just needs to go under something heavy as always, just to let it flatten out a bit. This is a little bit stiffer canvas, so you may need to leave it a little bit longer to flatten out. If those creases don't come out, you can always iron with, well, start off with a cool iron and then build the heat up if it's not quite coming out. But uh, on the whole, if you leave them flat uh, under something heavy, then they do flatten out. So it's a plate. It's sort of wreathy style, but I just love all this like decoration at the top look with like the um, they're, like little candy canes and then like, well, I suppose they're like little Christmas trees, aren't they? So it's like Christmas trees and candy canes going all the way around the circle. And then we've got overlapping snowflakes all around. And then we've got this cute little girl in the middle, which is very pretty. So putting big eyes on things always makes them look cute. And she is gorgeous. And she's got little pigtails look with her little blue bows to match her coat. And look at that coat. Wow, and she's got a mittens on as well. I wonder if she's got them on a string through the back of her coat. <laughs> Did you ever know used to have mittens so you didn't lose them? You used to get mum used to put a piece of elastic 
through the back of your coat and down your sleeves and tie your gloves on so that when you took your gloves off they were just hanging on the end of your sleeves it's great fun i could still lose them to be fair <laughs> with her having this headdress this is a little bit like national dress uh from some countries and the name escapes me i'm thinking holland have something similar but i don't think it's quite like that uh, so I would have to look it up but yeah um, it's still very very pretty for the UK as well and she's got these little shoes on look oh but that's lovely just something a little bit different I do like the design around the edge there is absolutely fantastic stuff coming out this Christmas as I say when I think back to the first Christmas that I was diamond painting there wasn't that much available and now it's just exploded and the things you can get like this little set um for your little i like this little set here and key rings and coasters and bookmarks and you know the little corner bookmark things there's all christmas corner bookmarks coming out as well so keep an eye out for all that stuff we've just got our pen boat and wax as normal and let's have a quick look at these gems. Lots of crystals. Oh, we have got special shapes in this one. Oh, they're gorgeous. Right, don't be looking at the specials just yet, Liz. So we've got two aqua blues to start off with, a darker one and a paler one for uh, the numbers one and two. Okay. So it's going to be a, a lovely colour palette. That's sort of going to be the main colour palette here. And then the other colours are all going to work around it. So then we've got a little bit of gold and some silver and a very, very, oops, a very, very pale blue there. That really is a nice blue, nearly clear crystal. And then a lovely dark purple and we've got a hot pink. Oh, they must have known, look. They sent me the one with the hot pink gloves, yay. Oh, I would have loved hot pink mittens when I was little. Oh, yes, the bee's knees. Uh, we've got a honey, uh, we've got a honey colour and a pale champagne gold colour, and then our special shapes, uh, marquees in this lovely honey gold. We've got some semi spheres. Oh, with an extra one. Look, we've got a, a diamond that's escaped. I wonder if it's a real diamond. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a diamond in there. <laughs> it's just a round with facets on that's just escaped into the yellow party here. Uh, yeah, and they've got an iridescent coating on. So where do the yellows go then? What numbers that? Oh, they're for a hat. They're all for a hat and on her coat here, look. I was just thinking there's no yellow on the design, but yeah, they're all for around the hat. And then for a little decorations on her a little jacket or a little coat there. Oh, uh, but the look at those. That is uh, a little tear, well, a bit, that's a big teardrop with an iridescent coating. So you're getting all the blues and purples and pinks in there. Ah, oh, that is gorgeous. So that's going to be all the way around the edge of your painting. And then just a couple on her hat, just to tie it all in together, to, <clears throat> to bring it together as one picture. Ah, oh, she's very, very pretty. Oh, loving that. Very nice. Okay. All right. Okay, well, great unboxing. Love the love this picture. She is just so cute and so pretty, and I love the gems on it. This is just a great little set, and uh, yeah, I'm going to quite enjoy doing those. These little gingerbread men. Uh, there's a poem, isn't there, about a gingerbread man? Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. I'll have to look that one up again. I'd forgotten all about that until I saw all these little gingerbread men there. And then we've got our little gonk as well. So, yay! Huge thank you, Diamond Art Gift, for sending me these. I've really enjoyed looking at them. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at them too, a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, You'll be notified when any of my videos come up, so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! <laughs> okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.